Hello students, welcome to Affairs Cloud. My name is Vikas. We have an app by the name Careers Cloud which you can go and download through Play Store. Once you have downloaded the application, you will be able to easily log in using your Gmail ID. Once you have logged in, you will be redirected to this page where you will be getting this UI and there will be option for home, all courses, my courses and doubt section. On this application, you will be getting multiple PDFs, multiple content on daily basis that will be enhancing your learning. Our first segment is daily current affairs. We make sure to provide you current affairs on daily basis in both English as well as in Hindi content. The PDFs for the same are uploaded on our application. And apart from this, we also make sure to provide you with quizzes that will help you to revise the content after you have gone through the PDF. Next comes our weekly content. The content is also provided in both English as well as in Hindi. And here we also make sure to provide you quiz also of that past week's current affairs that will be enhancing your learning as it is a compilation of the important topics, important MCQ questions for the last week. Similar for the monthly, the PDFs are very important. They provide you insights of various topics as well as we also make sure to provide you the quiz of monthly questions that are very important for learning. Next, we also provide you with important PIB articles on daily basis so that you can go through these particles and have an insight about that particular topic. Not just this, we also make sure to provide you important events that are happening globally and make sure to give you the right analysis. One of the most important segment of our application is that we make sure to provide you with the correct exam analysis. When you are having exam, we make sure to provide you with the previous year questions so that the student can go through the exam pattern and the syllabus and can prepare the exam accordingly based on the pattern. After the exam, we also make sure to provide you with the exam analysis. Then for the students who are preparing for state exams, they will be also beneficial here as we will make sure to provide with state wise current affairs for them. Apart from this, we also make sure to cover the topic wise current affairs such as your national affairs, government schemes, international affairs, banking and finance, economy and businesses as these are the topics from which the examiner definitely asks the question and these are covered on the monthly basis. So friends, do check our application. It will be a one stop solution for learning. Apart from this friends, Carrier Scout is hiring. We are looking for candidates for subject matter experts in quants reasoning and English and also we are looking for a content creator for current affairs topic on daily basis, weekly basis and monthly basis. There is also an opening for a person who can translate the English content into Hindi. If you want to apply, you can scan the code here for further details or you can go to the description and click the link below. These positions are available both in full time and freelance for serious candidates. Hello everyone, so in this video we will be discussing important current affairs for the topic awards and recognition for December month. Session will be quite interesting, so let's start. First is who has recently won Chevalier de Légion d'Honneur that is the highest civilian award of France and this is for the contribution in promoting the space cooperation between India and France. So who received this highest civilian award of France that is the Legion, Order of the Legion of Honor that is she will be VR Lalitambeka, right? She is a distinguished scientist at ISRO and she was honored with this highest civilian award. Correct. And she became second ISRO scientist to enhance cooperation between India and France for which or we can say second ISRO scientist who received this award. The first person to receive this award was E.S. Kiran Kumar. Right, who was the former chairman of ISRO who received this award in 2019. Next, name the personality who has recently been honored with the Chevalier de Order that is the Knight of the Order of Arts and Letters. So the Knight of the Order of Arts and Letters. This award was honored with, who, uh, this award was honored to, or who was honored with this award? Arishia Satar. Correct, she is an Indian author. Indian author and a translator dr arisha satar she was honored with this knight of the order of the arts and letter this is the prestigious honor and also given by france correct it is given by france government next which of the following personalities has have not featured on 2023 
Power 100 published by Art Review in December 2023. So which of the following personalities have not featured on the 2023 Power 100 published by Art Review in December? Geeta Kapoor. Right? Apart from this, Pratik Raja, Bose, Krishna, Krishna Machari, Dayanita Singh and Natasha Jinwala. Correct? These are the four individuals including Bose, Krishna Machari, right? They were listed on this list. Correct? There is one more name as they were five Indians. Correct? They were, there is one more name and that is Priyanka Raja. Priyanka Raja. Right? These are the five individuals that were named or that were featured on the 2023 Power 100 published by Art Review in December. Next, which of the following Indians has have recently featured in the Forbes Asia 2023 Heroes of Philanthropy list? Nikhil Kamath, Khushal Pal Singh and Nandan Neil Kani. Right? These are the three individuals. Correct? They were recently featured or they have recently featured to the 17th edition 17th edition of the annual list of the Forbes Asia 2023 Heroes of Philanthropy 11th Philanthropy is a person who basically donates right so these are the three individuals next who was recently awarded with Vice Prize for Education 2023 by the Qatar Foundation at the 11th edition of the World Innovation Summit for Vice Summit so who was awarded with this vice, vice prize for education? Safina Hussain. Right? Safina Hussain, she is the founder and the board member of Educate Girls. Right? And she was honored with this vice prize for education. And this was given to her by Qatar Foundation. Correct? This was during the 11th edition of the World Innovation Summit for education right next which statutory body or regulatory body has recently awarded the international social security associations vision zero 2023 award at the 23rd world congress on safety and health at work in sydney australia which is that organization or which is that statutory body or regulatory body that awarded the international social security associations vision zero award at the 23rd world congress on safety and health at work in Sydney, Australia. So it is Employee State Insurance Corporation, ESIC. Correct? And they were awarded Vision Zero Award. They were awarded with Vision Zero Award for 23. They were awarded by International Social Security Association. This was during the 23rd World Congress on Safety and Health at Work. And this was held when? This was held at Sydney, Australia. Next, which word has been selected as the word of the year 2023 by Oxford University Press in December? So, RIS, right? Oxford University Press named RIS as a word of the year 2023. And basically, RIS is how attractive or charming or basically defined for a style. Correct? And basically, this word is being now used by a younger generation. And so it is in trending. So this has been declared as the word of the year 2023. Next, name the personality who has recently honored with the Public Relations Society of India National Award 2023. So who was awarded? Suganti Sundaraja. Right? Suganti Sundaraja. Sundaraj. Correct? was honored with the Public Relations Society of India's National Award 2023 and this was for her outstanding contribution to PRSI and the industry. What is PRSI? PRSI is your Public Relations Society of India. Public Relations Society of India. Correct? And she is the regional head of the Public Relations at the Apollo Hospital and she was honored with this PRSI National Award 2023. Next, who has recently recognized as the Time Magazine's 2023 Person of the Year and became the first woman to appear twice on the Person of the Year cover. Who is she? She will be Taylor Swift. Right? Taylor Swift has been recognized as the Time Magazine's 2023 Person of the Year and she became the first woman to appear twice on the Person of the Year cover. Correct? Next. 
which word has been selected sorry next is who has recently been honored with the national award for the empowerment of divyangan under the category best personality empowerment of differently abled by dropdi murbu mam president of india so prashant agrawal right prashant agrawal was honored with the national award for the empowerment of divyangan under the category best personality empowerment of differently abled by dropdi murbu mam president of india correct and prashant agrawal he is the president of narayan seva sansthan that is in udaipur rajasthan next which word has been selected as the word of the year 2023 by the cambridge dictionary in december 2023 which is that word it is hallucinate so cambridge dictionary decided the word of the year to be hallucinate and res was selected or defined as the or selected as the word of the year by oxford university oxford university press next name the actor that has recently honored with the officer order of the merit of indian of italian republic i repeat name the actor who was honored with the officer order of the merit of the italian republic kabir bedi he is an indian actor right and he was honored with this award and this award is one of the most prestigious italian civilian award and this was awarded to him for his contribution in promoting better relationship between india and italy next tiriyani block of dash state secured the first position in the national institute for transforming india's niti ayog's inaugural delta ranking of aspirational blocks program for the first quarter of 2320 it is telangana state right tiriyani block of telangana state secure the first position in the niti ayog's inaugural delta ranking of aspirational blocks program for the first quarter 23 24 then remember this aspirational block program this was launched by niti ayog in january 2023 and the main focus here is on improving the governance to enhance the citizens quality of life especially in the underdeveloped blocks of india in the underdeveloped blocks of india correct and telangana secured the first position here next name the personality who has recently honored with the royal society of chemistry's nylon prize for education so who is that personality savita ladage savita ladage correct she is the professor at Homi Baba Center for Science Education correct that is in Mumbai Maharashtra and she has been honored with the Royal Society of Chemistry's Nylon Prize for Education that is Nylon Prize for Education correct and this was for her contribution to chemistry education next which of the following personalities has have recently honored with indira gandhi prize for peace disarmament and development for 2023 which of the following personalities so remember daniel berenboim and ali abu awad these are the two individuals correct they were honored with indira gandhi prize for peace disarmament and development 2023 correct next In December, Novak Djokovic from Serbia has been named as the Men's International Tennis Federation World Champion 2023 for the dash time, whereas Belarusian tennis player Dash has been named as the Women's ITF World Champion for the first time. So, Novak Djokovic, he is from Serbia, and he was named as the Men's ITF World Champion for the eighth time, whereas Ariana Sablanka, she is from Belarus. and she was named as the first time women's itf world champion so right option here becomes option fourth eight time for novak djokovic and first time for ariana sablanka next which of the following indian officers were recently honored with the golden owl for outstanding performance at the defense service command and staff college in sri lanka so which of the indian officer remember all three of them major rohit of indian army lieutenant commander sunny sharma of indian navy and wing commander s mahajan of indian air force they all three of them were honored with the 
गोल्डन आउल अवार्ड फॉर आउटस्टैंडिंग परफॉर्मेंस इन डिफेंस सर्विस कमांड एंड स्टाफ कॉलेज इन श्रीलंका नेक्स्ट हु हैज रिसेंटली वन भूटान नेशनल ऑर्डर ऑफ मेरिट गोल्ड मेडल फॉर सिग्निफिकेंट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टू पब्लिक हेल्थ केयर सर्विस इन भूटान Tell me who recently won the Bhutan's National Order of the Merit Gold Medal for significant significant contribution to public health services to Bhutan Poonam Khetrapal Singh Poonam Khetrapal Singh correct so Dr Poonam Khetrapal Singh she is from India and she is the regional director of WHO for South East Asian region correct and she was honored with Bhutan's National Order of Merit Gold Medal for her significant contribution to public health services to bhutan right next which of the following books has have recently been awarded with the fifth edition of gaza capital business book prize 2023 so winning middle india the story of india's new age entrepreneurs and against all odds the it story of india these are the two books correct they have been awarded with the fifth edition of the gaza capital business book prize 2023 next which indian navy's training institute has recently received the original veer chakra medal of late vice admiral binoy roy choudhry so which indian navy or which india in navy's training institute received this veer chakra of late admiral binoy roy choudhry which is that institute that is ins shivaji correct take a note of this and binoy a uh, late vice admiral binoy roy choudhry received this veer chakra in 1971 or during 19 for 1971 indian pakistan war next name the israeli film that has recently won the golden royal bengal tiger award for best film in the international competition category at the 29th kolkata international film festival 2020 Three. What is the name of that Israeli film? It is Children of Nobody. Children of Nobody. Correct. This book or uh, this film. This is an Israeli film, and it has won the Golden Royal Bengal Tiger Award for Best Film during the international competition in the international competition category during the twenty ninth edition of the Kolkata International Film Festival. Right. So I repeat. Children of Nobody Israeli film and it has won the Golden Royal Bengal Tiger Award for best film and it was during the 29th Kolkata International Film Festival that was held from 5th to 12th of December in Kolkata West Bengal Next in December ISRO won 9th edition of the Leif Erikson Award for Dash Mission So ISRO won the 9th edition of Leif Erikson Award for which mission So for Chandrayaan three mission, ISRO has won this Leif Erikson Lunar Prize for Chandrayaan mission. Correct. And if we talk about Leif Erikson award, this award is basically given for outstanding performance. Correct for Celestial Mysteries. Moving on. Next, name the personality who has recently won the fifth edition of the Miss Continental International Award pageant held in. India Aastha Raval she is of India correct and she has won the 5th edition of the Miss Continental International Award pageant that was held in India for the very first time correct and Aastha Raval was also honored with the title best in interview and best in swimwear category next which indian airport terminal Two has recently received the World Special Prize for an Interior 2023 from UNESCO's Prix Versailles under the category of Airport. So it is Camp Govda International Airport that is in Kolkata or uh, that is in Bangalore, Karnataka, and this airport received the award for Best Interiors, correct, in India, and they received this award from UNESCO Prix Versailles under the category of Airport. So friends these are your important current affairs for awards for December month now let's move to some revision current affairs they will be very beneficial for your learning in feb mir mohammad farooq nazki a prominent broadcaster poet and sahitya academy awardee 
passed away. In which year did he win Sahitya Academy Award in Kashmiri language for his poetry book Nar Hatun Kazal Vanas that is Fire in the Eyelashes. So in which year did he win it he won this in 1995 that is your Sahitya Academy Award in Kashmiri language for his poetry book Fire in the Eyelashes and he recently passed away. Next which country's former president Sebastian Pinera passed away in Feb 2024 so Sebastian Pinera he was from Chile and he has recently passed away and he served as the president of Chile from 2010 till 2014 next in Feb dash became the first indian state to pass bill on uniform civil code ucc which is the article related to ucc it is article 44 and uttarakhand became the first state in india to pass bill on uniform civil code right take a note of this cbdt central board of uh, cbt central board of trustees hike the interest rate on epf that is employees provident fund deposits to a 3 year high of how much percent that is 8.25% that was earlier 8.15% for the financial year 23 24 right option becomes option 2 Next in Feb Alexander Stubb was elected as the 13th president of Dash country. So Alexander Stubb was elected as the 13th president of Finland. Right next Padma Shri awardee and renowned Hindi and Maithili writer Usha Kiran Khan recently passed away. In which year did she receive Padma Shri award in the field of literature and education? So she received Padma Shri in the field of literature and education in the year 2015 and she recently passed away lieutenant general dash became the first woman to be appointed as the commandant of army medical corps center and colleges in lucknow up so lieutenant general kavita sahai correct she became the first woman to be appointed as the commandant of army medical corps center and college in lucknow up and also remember lieutenant general sahai is an alumnus of the armed force medical college in pune and was commissioned in the indian army medical corps in 1986 which organization along with ondc that is open network for digital commerce introduced the digi ready certification portal in feb 2024 which is that organization it is quality council of india right so qci along with ondc they have jointly introduced this drc that is digital digi ready certification portal this is a step towards fostering digital inclusion in the msme sector and this qci in coordination with ondc the aim here is to assess and certify the digital readiness of the msc msme entities that means how much ready those msme sector is or how ready those particular msmes are in order to adopt this digital transformation next in which city the second edition of the world defense show was held in feb 2024 so it was held in riyadh saudi arabia world defense show and this was the second edition of the world defense show held in feb in riyadh saudi arabia this was from 4 to 8th of feb correct take a note of this Next, which bank has recently signed an MOU with Warehousing Development Regulatory Authority, that is WDRA, to facilitate low interest rate loans to farmers and traders? It is Punjab and Sindh Bank, right? Punjab and Sindh Bank recently signed an MOU with WDRA, and it is to basically provide low interest. rate to the farmers and traders so that they can set up their own warehouses they can set up their silos to store the grains that are being harvested and these loans will be at low interest that compared to that of the market name the portal that has been recently launched by union minister arjun munda of agriculture and farmers welfare for insurance products including pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana so sarathi sarathi portal not sarathi sarathi portal correct 
this is the portal that is sandbox for agriculture and rural security technology and insurance i repeat what is the full form sandbox for agriculture and rural security technology and insurance sarthi portal correct this will offer a wide range of insurance product right that will include your pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana question asked is what is that portal it is sarthi portal correct apart from this this was launched by whom it was launched by arjun munda next thing remember he also launched krishi rakshak portal apart from this portal a helpline number 1447 was also launched and it is to enable farmers in india to file their grievances grievances are the problems they are facing bandhan financial holdings limited received the final approval from irdai to acquire 100% paid up share capital of agon life insurance company so we can say bandhan financial holding limited they will be acquiring 100% stake in agon life insurance All right take a note of this next name the satellite that was recently launched by national aeronautics and space administration that is nasa's on board spacex falcon 9 rocket to study earth's ocean air and climate so name of the satellite being asked that was launched by nasa it was launched using the falcon 9 rocket of spacex and what is the name of that satellite it is pace p a c e p a c e stands for plankton plankton aerosol cloud ocean so p a c e e ocean ecosystem e so this space is the name of the satellite launched by nasa using falcon 9 rocket of spacex and this is to study the earth's ocean air and climate next which state government has recently launched the logo anthem mascot jersey and torch of the fourth edition of khelo india university games so remember khelo india university games they will be held in assam they will be the fourth edition of khelo india university games right also remember here they will be held from 19th to 29th of feb and what is the name of the mascot here ashta lakshmi ashta lakshmi is a butterfly correct ashta lakshmi is the mascot khelo india university games fourth edition where they will be held they will be held in guwahati assam name the personality who has recently conferred with the lifetime achievement award with the gold medal by sports journalist federation of india so pt usha correct remember and she is the president of indian olympic association and now she has been honored with the lifetime achievement award with gold medal by sports journalist federation of india correct this was an event that was held at national sports club of india this national sports club of india is in new delhi right and pt usha who is the president of indian olympic association was honored with this gold medal that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 76773362 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support@affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue. 